Hello and welcome. You're joining the Movement for a Female-Led Society. I am T. Erica Patterson, and I am the founder of our new Female-Led Society and the host of this podcast. So I'm very excited that you're tuning in. You want to learn more about how our new Female-Led Society will help to instigate world peace. That is my plan. That is why I wrote the book, A Manifesto for a Female-Led Society, and why I'm initiating this movement. I believe that my plan for our new female-led society will shape the world and bring us to the utopia that we really want. And I'm not just talking about something that can happen in 300 years, something that can happen in 100 years. We can do this right now if we all stand together, recognizing that my ideas are radical But understanding that we do need to take a radical approach to bring about the change that we really need. So today I want to chat about something that just came to my heart. It just made me feel so good when I saw it. I saw an article about squirtable elastic glue that seals wounds in 60 seconds. Okay, let me break that down if that sounded weird. But basically, if you have a cut in your skin or an artery, or something happens that you're really, really hurt, you can put this glue onto the the issue, and it will seal it in 60 seconds. It will heal it. It won't just push it together. It will heal it back in place. Can you imagine how that will impact the medical field if this becomes widespread and normal to be used all the time? But also, in thinking about that, I thought about, I wonder who invented it. I wonder who came up with this idea that this is a problem that we can solve by creating something. I bet it was a woman. But if it wasn't a woman, I bet a woman encouraged it. Because women are natural nurturers and encouragers of progress. And in our new female-led society, the most beautiful thing about it is that we are nurturers of social innovation. Yes. In our female-led society, what's going to happen is people are going to be encouraged to become leaders in our society. And the only way that you can become a leader in our society is to create something that helps to solve a social issue. Once you create something that helps to solve a social issue, it could be a movement, it could be an invention, it could be a new process, it could be anything. But it has to solve a problem or help us to push forward socially as a as a one world nation, then you will be selected to become one of the leaders of our new society. That is the only criteria. It's not about beauty. It's not about strength. It's really about people who are solving problems for the world. So with this kind of invention, And in our new female-led society, they kind of go hand in hand. Imagine an entire society of people who are taught that fame, honor, greatness, and leadership are indicated by solving problems for our society. Imagine that all of this stuff in our old world that we get measure our success by, our beauty, our butts, our ability to make people laugh, our ability to make people be entertained, if that wasn't a factor anymore. What is greatness, really? In our new female-led society, greatness is going to be determined by your ability to impact social innovation, social change. Can you imagine what this world would be like where the only people who are allowed to be leaders are people who have come up with great ideas and executed them? So that our world became a better place. There are a lot of social issues that we need to work on resolving, but we don't work on resolving them right now. Why? Because we live in a capitalistic society that is bent on creating power through creating income. So you can create the stupidest idea that has no merit whatsoever, but you can create a lot of income from that and then ultimately have power to influence and shape this world. 
into whatever you want it to be, which mostly, since it's the masculine model of leadership, back to you feeling superior than others. Most leaders want to feel like they are better than other people. So they are separate themselves from the people that they are actually who are actually keeping them in that position. And our new female female led society, we, we don't act like that. We understand that it is our duty to take care of the people who are following our lead. We understand that our success is equated to their happiness and their prosperity. That is what a leader is supposed to be. That is how a leader is supposed to act. And there are so many social issues that we can work on resolving together, both men and women in our new female led society, which is guided by feminine principles, not feminine genitals. But there are so many issues that we can work to resolve and like education. How can we make our educational system better for everyone? Poverty, ineffective government, civil rights, pollution, immigration, terrorism, affordable housing. What can we do to resolve the issue of not having enough affordable housing for everyone? What about homelessness, student loan debt, police brutality, racism? What about climate change, green energy, bullying, unemployment? There are a lot of issues that we can sit down and we can try to tackle one by one as a group thinking together, not trying to compete nation to nation, not trying to overpower each other, not trying to prove ourselves to be superior, but that we are all on one accord. We are on one page that we can create the type of world we want by agreeing that greatness is enacting social change and social progress. That's why I'm so in love with this concept of a a female-led society that I came up with because I want this world to be a better place and I believe it can become a better place in my lifetime. I don't believe I have to wait. I don't believe I have to sow a seed and let the next person take handle it and push it forward. I can do it right now myself as a single woman living in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I can start the movement. I can light the torch myself. I can carry it until my death. And I'm willing to do that. Because somebody needs to stand up and say that this world that we're living in is not conducive to our mental to to our mental health and to our well-being. People are angry, people are abused, people are abusing others, people are bullying others, people are feeling like they're not good enough, people are not taken care of, people don't care about themselves, people are not being loved, people are not giving love. Who wants to live in a world like this? We have to do something radical, we have to do something major to incite change. Please do stand with me if you believe in what I'm saying. If you're listening to me, if you're hearing me, please visit femaleassociety.org. Subscribe to the list. Please offer a donation to keep this movement running. Because this is an issue that we can resolve together. Don't just be angry and write a letter. Don't be just angry and punch the wall. Be angry and take a stand. If you know in your heart of hearts, if you're listening to me and you're thinking... Why can't we live in a better world? Guess what? We can. But it's going to take us standing together and deciding to put down our uh, sense of self-importance and our desire to be right and our desire to be better than others. Lay that to the side and let's stand together so that we can create something that's sustainable. It's not going to be easy doing this. I know that. I'm I'm a woman, you know, I have strength, I have fierceness, I have emotions, but I also have this drive that won't go away. That's, that's telling me, keep going, keep pushing with this. Something's going to break. Something's going to happen. I have no evidence of it in sight. I have nobody standing with me, holding my hand, but at the same time, I'm still moving. I'm still moving. I'm still trying. I'm still creating. I'm still pushing. I'm doing everything that I can as a single person, hoping that the team will join me. Will you be a part of this team? Do you want to see advancement in our society? Do you want to feel peace? Do you want your children to have peace? Do you want your daughters to be safe and feel that they're unlimited in life? I know I want that for everyone that I love. We can't sit by 
and feel as though we're powerless. We're not powerless. We can do something. But it's going to take the right person with the right team to make it happen. So please do think about my plan for social innovation in our society. Our society is going to be totally dependent on leaders who are there to focus on creating solutions to our social issues. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that we're creating solutions for social issues versus creating products for consumption? I saw somewhere that they were um, creating a way to make paper from stones. I said, wow, (laughs) that's pretty awesome. Imagine what more could be done, created, invented, brought to light. If we made social innovation our priority as a society. Well, I am T. Erica Patterson, the founder of our new female-led society. Thank you so much for listening to this Movement for a Female-Led Society education series. Please do reach out at femaleledsociety.org. Join us again.